Hello everybody, my name is Colorful Artie, I play video games, and welcome to my next Let's Play, Banjo-Kazooie for the N64. One of the most famous, most well-loved, and most popular platforming games ever, at least of the 3D period. And this, this Let's Play's been a little while in coming. I, I believe it was several years ago when I was doing Diddy Kong Racing, I'm like, I'll do Banjo-Kazooie soon. Uh, soon, yeah. Uh, it took a few years, but I'm here at last. One of the reasons I held off on playing it is I actually streamed this uh, a while back. Like, I did an all-day stream where I just beat Banjo-Kazooie, but I couldn't upload the stream VODs because the recording didn't work and everything was off sync and it, the volume balance was bad. So I figured I would let's play it. I love this game so much that I'm happy to play it again. And this will be a 100% playthrough, because, honestly, you almost have to get 100% just to beat the game anyways. And it's an awesome game, and I want to show it off. Also, to show you just how diehard... <laughs> just to show you how much of a diehard fan me and my family are for this game. There are three files. All of them have 100%. It's fantastic. <laughs> Anyhow, let's just jump into this game. Uh, we'll get rid of file one. <laughs> Alrighty, we got a new file. Let's begin right now. the bench. Who is the nicest looking wench? Why, it's grunty any day. She really takes my breath away. <laughs> yes, you're right. I'm rather proud. My looks stand me out from the crowd. <laughs> well, but there is this girl. What do you mean? This cannot be. There's no one prettier than me! Why, it's Tootie, young and small. She's the prettiest girl of all. No, no, no! You must be mad! Nicer beauty can't be had! Unfortunately, I think you'll find. It's Tootie, she's cute and kind. Well, we'll see about that! What are you going to do today? Why am I being 
lazy brother wakes up, we're going on an adventure! I want to go on an adventure, too. I apologize for my voices in advance. If Tootie thinks she's fairer than me, I'll steal her looks, and ugly she'll be! Is that your brother? Where, Mr. Mole? I can't see him. Up there in the sky! I don't think so. Who is that? Come to me, my little pretty. You'll soon be ugly. What a pity. Let me go, you ugly old hag. Don't scratch and bite, my little bear. You'll soon need bigger underwear. Oh no, she's got her. Somebody, help. Banjo, wake up! Now! <sighs> what do you want, Kazooie? Let's get outside! There's trouble! <laughs> and that kind of sets the story. So this is Banjo-Kazooie. We play as a bear named Banjo and a bird named Kazooie. Yeah, they're a great duo together. Uh, oh, is that their normal jump? Or is my controller just off? Well, we'll find out soon enough. Because <laughs> honestly, I haven't broken out my N64 in a while, and it really feels like that is not supposed to be a regular jump. Oh, wow. <laughs> Anyhow, this game is awesome. It's got quirky characters. It's hilarious. It's really well designed. And there's plenty of humor for the adults as well. It's just a very charming game. You can see it's kind of like a classic fairy tale, but with a new twist, because, well, we're a bear. Anyhow. Also amazing music. Listen up, I'm Bottles, the short-sighted mole. I'm Banjo, and this here's my buddy, Kazooie. Sure is a strange-looking buddy, Banjo. Uh, can it talk? Better than you can, Goggle Boy. What was all that noise about? Where's my sister, Tootie? The ugly witch Gruntilda swooped down out of the sky and grabbed her. Calm down, Geeky. We'll get her back. Where did she go? She flew up to her mom lair. It's really dangerous, so you'll probably need some training before you go up there. Press A if you want me to teach you some basic moves, or press B if you think you're already good enough. Uh, I mean, I am definitely good enough, but for a tutorial's sake and for the Let's Play's sake, we'll say yes. Oh, uh, I mean, you didn't know what to do. <laughs> oh, we'd like some help, Bottles. Oh, uh, what do we do? Explore this area and look out for my molehills. Stand next to them and press B to call me. See you soon. I just realized I'm giving him a strong, sad voice. Oh, dear. Okay, there is definitely something wrong with my controller. There is no way that is put that is your normal jumping height. Hang on. What the heck? Do I have to learn how to jump from bottles? Because this is not. That is not your normal jump. Not even close. Anyhow, next to a molehole, press B. Uh, anyone home? Hello again! Let's start with the camera controls! They're terrible because it's a 3D platformer, but they're on the LLC ones! Jeez, that's nothing special! Try this then, Beaky! Tap R to move the camera behind Banjo! Is that all worm breath? No! Hold R to keep the camera behind your feathery butt! Try it out! I'll see you at the next molehill! Honestly, as far as 3D platforming games, especially 3D platforming games on the N64 go, this game has a pretty decent camera. Anyhow, let's make our way counterclockwise around the mountain. That seems to me to be the best idea. 
Banjo, it's time for you to learn the claw swipe attack. What is it? I must know. Simply press B when standing still or moving slowly. Sounds good. What can I try it out on? Well, how about bird brain? Just try it, bottle boy. Only kidding. Let me find something with a challenge. Ah, there's Topper. Whack him, Banjo. It's a carrot. So this is your most basic of attacks. It has almost no range. It's terrible. Whoa, nice one. Try another. Hey, I want some moves. Yeah. Abysmal range. As soon as we get more attacks, we will never use that again. Now try my fearsome forward roll. I want to learn to fly now. Roll by running and pressing B. I'll see if I can find ball for you to practice on. Ball the onion. Oh, because he balls. Yeah, the roll is so much better than the claw swipe. Bullseye! One more! Stop rolling! I feel sick! Yeah, watch. Watch what happens to Kazooie when we roll. Alright, never mind. Different game. It's time for the buzzer to learn a trick. It had better be a good one, Squinty. Try out the rat attack rap by jumping and pressing B in the air. Now where is Kali Wobble? So this is an aerial attack. It's also more powerful than the claw swipe in the forward roll. Just like that. Mmm! Not bad, Featherface! Give me another bog, bog eyes! You've learned all the basic attacks now! See you around! Now, this is a hollow honeycomb piece. You may have seen it at the beginning. Oh. I'm an extra honeycomb piece. Collect six of us to increase your energy bar. Yes, yeah, so I think we only have like four or five HP to start with. If we collect six hollow honeycomb pieces, we can increase that by one. Very useful, because this game is actually pretty difficult. Mmm, and this is increased honey energy. And that just refills your HP. Alright, bottles. My beak barge attack needs the help of all the chicken legs. At least I've got some leg short stuff. At least I've got some legs. Hold Z and then press B for a powerful beaky barge. This one's alright. It has some utility uses. Just like that. See, Banjo? She is useful for something. I'm trying this move out on you next, Jam Jars. This has such, like, sarcastic, uh, very, very British humor, because the team that made this rareware is very much a British company. And as I said before, Banjo-Kazooie has one of the best game soundtracks, like, ever. The composer Grant Kirkhope is amazing, and I hope he's remembered as one of the best composers of modern day. It's just so catchy. Hey, Banjo! I hope you're not afraid of heights. I'm not. Tell me about flying, Root Muncher. Not yet. Banjo, jump onto a tree, then use the control stick to climb up or down. And I apologize if the voices I give to the characters are annoying. I'm trying to replicate, like, the like, sounds that they make. You'll find plenty of other things to climb. The trees are the main one. Okay, I really feel like this... My controller is busted. I'm actually going to try that. Yeah. So this is our pause screen. It shows all our totals of the game, and we can return to the game. We're saving quit. I'm going to literally try another controller, because I really don't think that I'm jumping to the full height I should be. All right, let's try this. No, what the heck? It's still... The gravity is increasing. Are you seeing this? This is supposed to be a platformer game. Look how terrible that jump is. Jump onto a tree! Yeah, I know how to climb trees. Thank you, Bottles. And it feels like the more I jump, the worse the jump gets. Maybe it, maybe it requires just a full restart of the N64? I don't even know.
And there's a hollow honeycomb piece on this tree. Yeah. Okay, yeah, this proves it. This proves that my jump is just screwed up. Because you're supposed to be able to jump high enough in order to reach that. What the heck? Yeah, I'm literally just going to have to do a full-on reset of the N64, so... Sorry about that. I'll see you guys in just a bit. So, we're back where we started. Unfortunately, as far as I can tell, I just am remembering things wrong, and in Banjo-Kazooie, you just have a really bad single jump. And you actually need to learn a more advanced jump in order to get that hollow honeycomb piece. Go figure. Anyhow, sorry about that. Fancy learning to swim underwater? Ooh, sounds difficult, and I'll get my fur wet. Come on, Banjo, I want to swim. Spill the beans, Specky. Use the control stick to swim on the surface. To swim underwater, press B to dive. Go on, give it a try. I will say, okay, apart from the your normal jump being really bad, apparently, uh, one thing that I don't like about this game is the underwater controls. Pretty much every other 3D platformer on the N64 does a better job of underwater swimming controls, except maybe Rayman 2. Anyhow, I think I'm just go swimming later, but for now, this is what we really want. Hmm, your jump could do with some help. Yeah, no j joke. Ha! Why do moles know about jumping? More than you, press A to jump and hold it to jump higher. I am... Okay, yeah, you literally need to learn how to jump higher from him. Come on, Feathers, give him a hand. Why? I'll look silly, I know it. Jump, then press A again in the air for a double jump. Okay, yeah, I forgot. Until Bottles teaches you the stuff, you literally just can't do them. Okay, yeah. That's what I was talking about. And that's your double jump. That's it. We're ready to move on. Not until you learn this one. First, you must stand like this. What? Wearing ridiculous glasses and a silly grin? I'm not listening. Hold Z, then press A for the mighty flap flap jump. There we go. That's it! You've learned all the basic moves. Meet me at the top of Spiral Mountain and I'll tell you what to do next. Okay, yeah. So, like, you literally can't change the camera until you talk to him and learn the change camera move. You can't climb until you learn the get climb move. And apparently you can't jump at a halfway decent rate until you talk to this specific bottle. I knew I wasn't crazy! And the funny thing is, I even looked up, like, a long play of Banjo-Kazooie to be like, is the jumping really this bad? And I just watched the very beginning, and I'm like, yep, the jump is really just that bad. No, it's not. I am so sorry, everybody, <laughs> that I lied to. I'm like, hey, the jump is terrible. Well, I guess it just is terrible. I, I knew I wasn't kid. I knew I wasn't crazy. Anyhow, now that we can actually jump higher, so actually, I recommend when you go around the spiral island, go clockwise. I made a mistake going counterclockwise. Yeah, I knew we could get that just by jumping. You just have to talk to the molehill in the grove in order to get it. Anyhow, there are two more hollow honeycomb pieces that we can get. One, we have to go over here and use the flip flaps for the hover jump. And then, there's a trophy back here. Let's pick it up. Look out for me. I'm an extra life. That's nice. Anyhow, there's one last... One last hollow honeycomb piece we can find in Spiral Mountain. There are six in this world, and then every other world has only two. So you can get a free health extension in Spiral Mountain, but then in the future worlds, you're gonna have to be free worlds before you can get one. Anyhow, the last one is underwater. And you'll notice swimming in this game is just really slow, so if you're swimming on the surface of the water and you want to go faster, just do your hover jump over and over again. You'll go way faster. Anyhow, there should be a cave somewhere around the base of this that's underwater. There we go. You can kind of see that if we press B to go underwater. Well, underwater, Banjo can press A to kick his legs, and the winged one, Wonder, can press B to use her wings. So Banjo's little kick is really, really slow, but you can use it to get some precise angles. And as you can see, we get a health extension, and that's our air meter, the blue honeycombs. You can drown in this, 
And you are in great risk of drowning on some levels, and then Kazooie's B move, you go way faster underwater. You pretty much always want to use Kazooie's uh, swim attack, or swim attack, just swimming motion, except when you like need to make a really tight turn underwater, then you can use Banjo's to kind of straighten it out. Anyhow, that's about it for Spiral Mountain. Let's head on up. And unfortunately, we'll pretty much never go back to Spiral Mountain again, because this is not even the main hub world. Also, it's getting like marshy up here at the top. Well done, guys! You're ready to tackle the witch now! We sure are! Show us the way, Bottle Boy! I fixed the bridge so you can cross it and enter Gruntilda's lair! Thanks, Bottles! Look out for me inside! Good luck! Yeah, Gruntilda's lair is gonna be the main hub world of the game. <laughs> and we get the ominous music, and boy howdy, if there's just one piece of music that summarizes N64 rareware music in one go, it's this one. With that xylophone. This fine contraption, so I'm told, will make me yawn and Tootie old. Let me go, you fat hag! My brother will come and kick your butt! Rescue you, he will not dare. There's many dangers in my lair. Hurry, Klongo! Push that switch! I'm tired of being an ugly witch! Yes, Mistress Grunty, power is on. So be ready. Banjo! She may be an evil witch. There he is! The fun begins! My tricks and traps! We'll see who wins! Welcome to Gruntilda's lair. And she may be an ugly old witch, but she's an ugly old witch who's actually up on the latest technology. <laughs> yep, that's Gruntilda. She's a great uh, villain. And she always speaks in rhyme, which is great. <laughs> Really awesome. Anyhow, this is going to be super fun Let's Play. That's it for the first episode. I'm going to try to tackle around one world per video. And hopefully we can finish this in like 11 or 12 episodes then. I don't know, really. We'll have to wait and see. I hope you guys tune in for the rest of this Let's Play. I know episode one was really boring and most of it was spent on me just being like, the jump is terrible. Oh wait, that's because I didn't learn the jump better move. <laughs> and no, in the rest of the game I'm pretty well versed in, so I should do... Pretty well, and it's going to be a lot more exciting and a lot more fun. I hope to see you then, and until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.